what it is, what it do, and how the hell are all of you with yours truly. Petrov motherfucker back with another motherfucker. Damn it. Fucking water bottles and shit fucking up my intro. I ain't even gonna change that bitch. Woo. Still hot out here in Minnesota? I know people be like, it ain't that hot. It's fucking hot. I was born in fucking the winter. I like cold. Fuck. Chuck me some 40 degree days. Shit. Got too many sweatpants, too many hoodies not to rock them motherfuckers. Woo. Hope y'all been staying blessed. Hope y'all been staying good. Whole lot of shit just going on lately. Whole lot of shit just all over. I mean, whether it's music popping up or uh, new new people, new I guess new political commentators, whatever you want to call them, got their own points, blowing up here and there. There's always still the viral shit going viral. You know, it's, it's a pop little world, man. A lot of shit to be reporting on. If you're reporting about anything, shit's nuts. You just report just about anything. This particular episode is going to be another two-parter. Maybe, maybe we just do another long one. Hopefully, motherfuckers stick around. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. But you already know, I got to start with CNN. Man, has CNN just kind of screwed the pooch time and time and time again lately with Como and his fucking uh, COVID debacle, fucking Don Lemon and all of his debacles and shit, his shit that he says that he shouldn't be saying, but he says because he just thinks it's okay to say it. I mean, I guess if you're an activist portraying yourself as a journalist, that's fine. Brian Stelter does the same, and that's who we actually going to talk about. I know a lot of people get mad about people bashing on CNN, but they make this shit easy. If you made it harder, less people would do it. It's true. But Brian Stelter got dragged by a fucking lawyer. How do you get dragged by a lawyer on your own show? You would think that your show, you set the standard, you set the flow of the show. And yet somehow she stole the show, stole the flow, and drug your ass along, motherfucker. Ha! She done drug you, da 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 She had you gripping your motherfucking jimmies. She rustled your feathers. She pissed you off. It was clear as day. When she said, Brian, you are an activist, not a journalist. Ooh, she was popping shots. Granted, that's probably not the best way to have a dialogue or have a conversation with somebody. You're probably not going to get very far taking pop shots. But the shit is fun, and it does make for entertaining news. Go watch the fucking clip. It's only like five minutes long or some shit. Six minutes. Could be a little bit longer. I don't know. I just know the clip that I was watching. He was getting his ass fucking dragged. And he he kept trying, he tried to tell you, you're wasting my time. You invited her on the show. You should have set the tone for the show. But no, man, she brought up that uh, defamination suit that, that CNN got with Trump and shit over that poll that they fucked up on. And they didn't want to retract that shit. CNN is already in a lawsuit with them about not retracting some shit. If you report shit wrongly, you should probably retract that shit. Just a, it's it's a good idea to to retract that shit if you if you fuck up and say the wrong thing. Just kind of a good thing. I just think it was funny that he got drug on his own show. It happens to a lot, I think, to CNN anchors. I mean, look at their building; they got fucking trashed twice. So people definitely ain't siding with that bullshit. I think everybody on all sides knows CNN is just pandering and placating to somebody's fucking feelings and their agenda. They're definitely activists pushing in a journal. A journal they're activists acting as journalists pushing their agenda for the left. Because CNN only promotes orange man bad, orange man hate everything. That's what they push. And speaking, speaking of protests, because CNN did not cover those protests like they were supposed to. They did not call it rioting like they should have. They did not call it looting like they should have. They tried to say it's peaceful. Nah, that shit. The raging fires I seen. Them shits wasn't peaceful, CNN. I don't know what crack you're smoking, but y'all fucked the pooch on that one. Fucked it. Just bad, man. But protests have been popping up all over the United States. I'm all for police reform. Them killing motherfuckers is ridiculous. That's nuts. How the fuck do they get away with that shit? Because they have a police union. They almost have an immunity fucking blanket when it comes to popping motherfuckers. Now, I'm not saying that there's not certain situations where free people deserve to get shot. Hey, I know the statistics say more white people get shot a year than black people, and I know the, the rates on, 
I know the statistics on that there's uh, the, there's less black people, there's more white people, but I will tell you this, I think some white people, when they get popped, they have that shit coming. Dead, dead darn, so I'm going to say this, I don't care who gets mad at that shit, I'm sorry, but your tweaked out uncle that thinks he's going to overthrow three police officers when he gets shot and then he tries to fucking get madder at that shit and he goes at him faster and they kill him, I don't feel bad. I don't. Sometimes, yes, people like are killed that are unarmed, that should not happen. There's protocols. There's procedure. Obviously, some cops just go about it however they want. If you want to be gung-ho, you shouldn't be on the force. But when they completely stand down and watch cities burn, I got an issue with that, too. I guess it's a double-edged sword, like we live in a community of double-edged fucking swords. I guess we live in an era of double-edged swords. Speaking of swords, at a protest in New Mexico, they were gonna they were, they wanted to get rid of a conquistador. I don't want to butcher the guy, the conquistador's name. I just know it was Juan Juan something in a D. I think it was Juan de Norte or something. But I, I like I, said, I don't want to butcher it. So, but they were gonna pull down the statue because there was tensions between the Native Americans and the Spanish over the, the over that statue, over what had happened in the what over happened in history. They were they mad about it. So they were going to pull down a statue. So essentially a militia shows up and is like, nah, because we had to know that if you're going to try to pull down statues, eventually people are going to show up to defend them. Like I said, a double-edged sword. There's two sides to every coin. There's two sides to every tail. Why did we only think we're going to see one side? Come on now. Come on. Come on. Use your brain. Use some logic. Use some common sense. I know it's hard, but it's not. It, no, it, it's not. It's It's not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give anybody defense. Defense that it's hard. The fact that people thought no one's gonna show up because everyone supports us. That's a stupid fucking idea. Like I've said before, if you want to get rid of statues, you go through the, dem- the the democratic process. You get them shits voted down and voted out, and then you have them take them apart, put them in a museum so that history can still be told, and you can put whatever statue you want there. Or I guess just leave it blank. Who fucking knows, right? Um. Well, this particular statue, that particular militia, had a had a body. Somebody got shot near that bitch. Now, I don't know if the person died, but the militia shows up. Shit got heated. From what I've read, the militia started to back down and started, you know, fucking it. I guess it's, I suppose they gave up ground to the statue. Why not? Let them take it if they're just going to keep exposing it. It's not like you can shoot at whoever you want, even if you are a part of the militia. So, they start to back up a wee bit, and then... Video cuts to this good guy in blue retreating. He probably was running his mouth. I give it to him. He's probably running his mouth, pissing off some people. Well, he started to retreat because you know, the mob, the mob mentality. They start to follow you, talking they shit, and they start to follow. Him. Well, then you see a couple people start to try to attack him. Well, now you can see clearly a couple days now after the actual reporting, you can see there's pictures. People freeze froze this frame. Screenshot, whatever, for, uh, f- freeze frame, whatever the fuck it's called. They took pictures, and you can clearly see both people have knives in their hand. So when this guy pulled out his strap and shot one person multiple times, I don't know what you thought was going to happen. A lot of people say, if you chase down an armed man, what do you think is going to happen? No, 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 that shouldn't be the headline. Headline should be, if you fuck with someone in a militia, what do you think is going to happen? It's a fucking militia. And now the media is going to blame the guy for shooting the guy. They were going to beat his ass, stab him, probably if he didn't have a strap. They definitely had a knife. They had a skateboard. And I've seen plenty of people get racked and get get whacked in the dome with a skateboard. Haven't had haven't, haven't, haven't had it happen to me, but I bet that shit hurts. That metal ass trunk hitting the back of the dome. Because when we know you swing that bitch, that skateboard, we know you swing that skateboard. You ain't trying to hit someone with the wood. You try to hit someone with those wheels and that trunk on that bottom. What are that things? Isn't it called the trunks? Trucks? Trucks? Something like that? I don't know. I'm not going to act like I know skateboards. Tried one time for a year when I was 11. I fucking sucked at it. But the media is going to blame him. A lot of people are going to blame him, even though the aggressors were actually the people chasing him down. He could have been the aggressor in the group, yes. But the minute you, he retreated and y'all started to chase him, you became the aggressors. That is how it looks. That is how it is. Whether you like it or not. And they went after statues. They went after statues. Now, in Berkeley, they're going to change the uh, couple names, uh, a couple of the schools that were named after Washington and uh, Jefferson. And uh, 
I don't know. I don't think you should be going after the founding fathers, man. They founded the country. They founded this great fucking country we live in. Yes, this country has its problems, but this country is the most free country on this fucking planet. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. You try to bring that... Try to, try to have a fucking uprising. An uprising in some of those other countries about some of the shit we are able to have them for in the United States. It ain't gonna fly. It is not gonna fly. It's still, it's still illegal to be gay in 70 countries or 72 countries, something like that. That's not a joke. That's real. You think, you think uh, brutality is bad here? Man, look at fucking India. Look at when they had lockdown. They were whooping people with sticks. They were whooping people with sticks that were outside of their house. There's videos of the Indian police whipping motherfuckers on mopeds with sticks. For just being outside. Like I'm saying, I'm not saying we don't have our problems. But when you look at other countries, I think we got I think we got it okay. I think our problems are the police unions. I don't think it's actually the police themselves. Like I've said before, I've yet to meet a solid good cop. That doesn't mean they're not out there. But I'm also not looking to go fucking meet police. I don't choose to have police in my friends group. That's just me. My preference. But I'm sure someone will find a different problem with that preference. It's just, like I said, I think the statue's going on and all that shit. I think it's going a little far. I think it's going a wee far. I mean, a good example is uh, Tim Pool made a comment about them uh, getting rid of fucking uh, Thomas Jefferson and Washington and all this stuff, but they could have saved Aunt Jemima. Ooh, that went over so many people's heads, it was nuts. It doesn't surprise me, though. It just doesn't. This was his joke, and I, I don't care if he's a man. He goes, you sat back and said nothing when they tore down the statue of Thomas Jefferson. You fanned me away when they announced schools named for Jefferson and Washington would be renamed, but now it's too late. You could have stopped this. And it's the, po- it's the uh, article with Aunt Jemima being uh, changed. Now go ahead and change the – go ahead and change the serve. I don't, I don't care. If it, if, it does, if it does have an extremely racist lineage, change that shit. They should have been changed it. Why did nobody argue about that shit in the 90s? I don't know, man. Seems I think things that we get outraged about are selective. But like I, like I try to tell people, we'll see what happens at that ballot booth in November. That's just, that's just what's going to happen. That ballot booth is going to be a riot maker come November. There's two groups that actually have Black Lives Matter in the uh, title. There's the foundation and there's the movement. The foundation actually has a UPS box as like the, or a UPS store as like where they, you can send shit to them. And that person actually spoke out. They had an article and everything. And because there was a lot of talk about that Black Lives Matter movement that had a, that had the millions just disappear seemingly. Styles P talked about it. Candace Owens brought it up. Yeah, there's, I have an article about, I'm going to read an article too about this, about a black, li- a black activist saying don't donate to Black Lives Matter because um, they don't know where the money was going, all the donations, millions and millions and millions of dollars of donations, but now they know. One of those, the, from what I've actually know, the one foundation for the guy, that's his foundation. He, that's Black Lives Matter Foundation. The movement is what is doing the protesting. And the movement is what's under, is what people are looking at right now. And they're, that's the ones that want to see their money books. They want to see where the money's coming from, where it's going, all this shit. But millions of those dollars went to the wrong foundation. I find that shit hilarious. Like, how? How? And then, then, then when you actually go on their website, and you, cl- and you click the donate button, it brings you to Act Blue, and you realize that the money where people are donating Black Lives Matter is just going into Democrats' pockets. Like, if you look at the paper trail, it's, just, it's going to Democrats. And those are the same people that want to keep everybody down for the sake of their own pocketbook. You haven't seen that yet? I don't know what to tell you. There's so much history on why the Democrats are horrible fucking people. But, yeah, we won't acknowledge that shit. I just thought, God dang it. I'll just be dropping everything, man. I gotta get a desk. That, that I gotta get a fucking desk. And the article, the Black Lives Matter, art, the, the activist speaking out about it, I believe her name is Ashley Yates. I'm about to pull it up right now. It's just, it, like I said, it's just, 